Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a comparison between the iPhone SE 2 and the iPhone XR, which is on my right. Now both these phones are still being sold brand new from Apple, but they're also being sold on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. So if you want to pick them up from there, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can see the iPhone XR is definitely the bigger phone in every dimension, but it doesn't mean it's the better phone. There are some ways why the iPhone SE 2 is a better phone. Now, the 10 Heart is the older one. This phone came out in 2018. And overall, it's still a very good looking phone. I think it has a lot of capability, a lot of closure, whatever that means. And although, you know, I'm running iOS 15 on both of these, I still think the iPhone 10 R holds up extremely well, even though it's almost two years older than the iPhone SE 2. Now with the SE 2, you have a smaller 4.7 inch panel, and you can see it definitely looks a little bit older than the iPhone 10 R. You know, it doesn't look as new and all that stuff, but I still think it looks great. I love the white back to the black front. I think that looks very sharp. And I still think both of these look very, very good, although the 10R would be my choice. Now in terms of the thinness and thickness between the two, you can see that the SE 2 is definitely smaller and thinner for sure. And on the back, glass backs on both that still look very, very good. Single camera setups as well, lightning ports at the bottom, IP certification on both as well. So in terms of the outside, that pretty much covers it. Now there is a pretty big difference in terms of the chipset inside. So we have an A13 Bionic here, we have an A12 Bionic here. So that really means in the all grand scheme of things that the 10R in terms of software is not going to last as long as something like an iPhone SE 2. Is that that big of a deal? In my opinion, not really as of yet, but it will matter probably a couple years from now. So if you're somebody who wants to buy a phone and have it for as long as possible, there is kind of a trade-off. You know, the iPhone SE 2 looks a little bit outdated and it doesn't have the gesture-based design. It doesn't have a notch, no face ID here, but it could last longer than something like an iPhone XR, which is pretty crazy to say. So if you're somebody who wants the longest lasting phone between these two, the iPhone SE 2 has a higher chance of lasting longer than the iPhone XR for sure. But on top of this, there's a very big, you know, caveat. The iPhone SE 2, one of its biggest complaints is the battery life. So if you're somebody who wants the best battery life for your phone, the iPhone XR is the better way to go between these two. I still think obviously the iPhone SE 2 is a great phone and everything, but the XR's battery life is pretty good. It's actually really, really good, especially if you're getting it brand new, if it hasn't degraded at all. The iPhone SE 2's probably worst complaint is the battery life. You know, it's really not that good, which is a big problem. I'm not a fan of it. I've never really liked it, to be honest. The XR definitely beats the iPhone SE 2 in terms of battery life, and that is where the iPhone XR is definitely the winner. So in terms of that, that covers it up in terms of the software battery on the outside. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both of these phones. Like I mentioned, the SE 2 has that Apple A13 Bionic chip inside of it with three gigs of RAM. The iPhone XR has that Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with three gigs of RAM as well. So let's go and see which one is the faster one between both of these. All right, so I guess this is the best we got for now. It's gonna be a little bit of a work in progress, but hopefully with the next one, I'll get better. Let's get into phone calls, three, two, one. And definitely the SE 2 was the faster one there. Hopping onto this one, let's get into their app stores, three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone SE 2 again was the faster one. Scrolling through, you can see pretty much the same scrolling speed. Let's just kind of get into here. Yeah, both of them are about the same, but definitely the 10R was a little bit slower. Let's get into camera three. Let's just load up the camera in the back end. Let's just do that. Let's do photos, three, two, one. And again, I think the SE 2 was the faster one there as well. Hopping out of this one. Let's get into stocks, three, two, one. It always seems like a good one to get into. And the SE 2 didn't have to get loaded to the panel. So I guess we'll kind of let this one slide as well. Although I still think the SE 2 would have been faster. And let's just get into some of these third party apps that I always have on all my phones. So let's get into Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, again, the SE2 is a faster one. Let's get into Twitter, three, two, one. And I, actually the 10R I think was the faster one there. Hopping out of this one, let's get into stack, three, two, one. And the SE2 was a little bit faster. The iPhone 10R a little bit behind. Let's get into snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And the SE2 was faster. iPhone XR again, a little bit slower. Getting into some gameplay. Again, I don't know if there's going to be that big of a difference. I guess we'll look into it. And they both look almost about the same. Hopping out of this specific game. Let's get into Netflix. 3, 2, 1. And the XR actually looked a little bit faster there, surprisingly. Let's get into Quizlet. Let's just skip that one. It's too far. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone SE 2 does seem to be a little bit faster here. The iPhone XR, a little bit slower again, not that big of a deal, but it is something to consider. 
and the iPhone SE2 definitely far faster in this specific case. The iPhone XR was quite a bit behind. That was actually pretty surprising to me. That was probably the most apparent, you know, speed difference in terms of both of them. It's going to do something like we can do Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1, although I think there's going to be a lot of issues here. We'll just see whichever one runs into an issue first. So we do have the pop-up on the iPhone SE 2, so we'll just kind of let this one go. So there's already 50,000 issues. So I think definitely when it came down to both of these, the iPhone XR was definitely a little bit slower, much slower than I thought. So if you're trying to get one of these for the speed, the iPhone SE 2 is definitely the way to go. So in terms of that, that covers up the speed comparison. Let's go and hit on the cameras. Now in terms of the cameras, like I mentioned, both cameras are single camera setups on the back. Both 12 megapixel sensors and both are almost the same thing. Both can do 4K at 60 on the back and they both can do 1080p at 60 on the front as well. So there's really not that big of a difference here. Wireless charging on both, glass backs on both as well, which is kind of random for the camera department. I have kind of seen that the iPhone SE2's camera is better. You have portrait mode on both as well and I've already done a full camera comparison between these two like a year ago. But I do think, you know, the iPhone SE2 camera may be the better one. There's been some things said about the E13 Bionic chips like post-processing and photos. And that's always looked pretty good. I think the SE2 has one thing going for it there. I think the XR is still a great phone and everything. I think if the iPhone SE2 was a 10 out of 10, the iPhone XR is probably like a 9 out of 10. Like it's a very good camera too. So in terms of the camera setups, both are very good on the back. And both cameras are very, very good on the front too. I really don't have too many issues there either. So in terms of the camera setup, that covers it up there. Now to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you buy an iPhone XR in 2021 or, or should you buy an iPhone SE2? Now this is what I'll tell you, I think both these phones have a lot of things going for them. I don't think one is like a crazier, better deal than the other one. I think the SE2 is a little bit too expensive and I think the XR is the same case. You can pick both of these things up in the used market or even on Amazon for a little bit cheaper like I mentioned. But I think if I had to pick up one of these right this second, I would rather pick up an iPhone XR for sure. I think this phone has a little bit more going for it. I like the design, I like the body a little bit more, I like the gesture based design a lot more than the home button design. Although I still like Touch ID, I wish they implemented it on this specific display, you know, with inbuilt Touch ID in the screen. The not just gray face ID is fine. The biggest thing that I notice is even though it's a little bit slower on this phone, I would much rather have the better battery life that you have on an iPhone XR than the much worse battery life on the iPhone SE2. And like I mentioned, I've already done cam battery comparisons and all that stuff with the iPhone SE2 versus a lot of phones last year. And I noticed that was the biggest complaint. But the iPhone SE2, you know, has a couple things going for it. You know, it, ha it has a, you know, better performance overall, which is something that we noticed. It's definitely a faster phone than the iPhone XR. RAM management, I didn't get to test, but I've tested it before and it's like about the same on both. Cameras are a little bit better on the iPhone SE2 and this phone's going to last a little bit longer than the iPhone XR as well. So like I mentioned, if you want the longest lasting phone, the iPhone SE2 is the better way to go. If you don't care about that and you just want a phone that's going to get you from point A to point B and it's cheaper, I guess the SE2 is the better way to go, but I still think I would much rather have an iPhone XR than an iPhone SE2 just because of those, you know, the battery and like the no home button and stuff, but the choice is yours. Like I mentioned, you can pick up either one of these from the description below. You can help support the channel at the same time. That's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.